Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be a continuation of my series on making a lake map. I drew this last night. It's of a lake called Lake LBJ. Uh, Central Texas has seven lakes in a chain. It's uh, in the Texas Hill Country. And if I'm not going to go over how I did this. You know, I made this uh, vector cutting line. But let's just zoom in here. And some of these little pieces are too small. They're going to burn away. So you've got your shape tool. And you can go through here and, and delete some of those. But what I would suggest to do first, before you've got, see all the nodes, just encompass all those nodes. You're going to get this. And let's reduce it by, and you should always make a copy first. Let's reduce it by 20. And see all the less nodes now. So with now, with X, and see you've got some messed up parts when you do that. So let's just revert and go back to, and that all can be cleaned up very easily. But with Corel X7 now, you've got the smoothing tool. And the smoothing tool is going to smooth out some of these areas so they won't burn away. You can still have a little bit of a hiccup there. Let's zoom in here. Because you know, you know, it's a it's a lake, it's a natural lake. So you want some, you know, you don't want straight lines, you don't want corners. But this little piece right here might burn away. So just straighten them out a little bit. And then even take your, go back to your shape tool and click on that and maybe, you know, maybe do that. You know, click on him again and maybe do that. You know, kind of round him off. Now, the, the real reason for the video, and see all those nodes there, just kind of, but I don't like that. It's too much, but you could, you can always curve it up. And, but the real reason for the video is I was doing this last night and I kept going back and forth, back and forth between the shape tool and the smooth tool. And default on the shape tool is F10. So there's my shape tool. There's my shape tool when I hit F10. But I want my smoothing tool back. So now I'm going to hit F10 in the equal sign. And I've got my smoothing tool back. Hit F10, I got my I got my shape tool back. It's the F10 and the plus or the equal sign key. But you just keep going back and forth. Because it was irritating last night that you'd have to go up here and actually hit. Now you can see it actually has my hot key right there that saved me a tremendous amount of time so you can go through and this is only really available in x7 or i guess x8 i don't own x8 so i don't know for a fact but you need to get rid of some of these that are just too too sharp and you're going to have to do some test and and so hit f10 and get my shape key back so i can put these little nodes a little closer and get these two areas faster you can actually maybe even hit the delete key and see what it looks like. That looks pretty good. You could maybe round this off because that tip might burn away. Let's see what happens when we delete that. So you would get that crossover. That will not work. Anyway, and if you, I'm also going to do another video on, on the hotkey again because I think it's so important. Hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.